You can set up course group sets and assign them to graded activities like group discussions and assessments. Let's explore how it's done. To create and manage groups, select the Groups tab on the course content page. Here you can see existing groups, import group set or create a new group set. Select New Group Set and then provide a descriptive title to select how you want to divide your students among groups. If you select Custom, you can create as many groups as you want with any number of students in each group. Select the students you want to add to your first group. Then, open the menu next to one of their names and select Create a New Group. Edit the group name and, if you want, add a group description. Repeat this process for your remaining students. If you select Randomly Assign, students are randomly assigned to the number of groups you choose. In the Number of Groups menu, select how many groups you want to create. Again, you have the option to edit the group name and add a group description. Finally, you can ask students to self-enroll in groups. To use this tool, make sure the group is visible to students. You can edit this in the top right drop-down menu. When using self-enrollment, you have the option to add an enrollment start and end date and set the maximum number of members per group. If you set an enrollment period, when the enrollment period ends, the system automatically enrolls the unassigned students. You also have the option to add additional groups, edit the group names, and add group descriptions. When you ask students to self-enroll in groups, they receive a course announcement and an activity stream notification about groups they need to join. After you create your course groups, you can begin using them when creating group discussions and assessments. Also, you can set the groups you want to add in the activity.